Oh, hey YouTube, it's Danielle. I know I didn't do my weekly update. I tried to do it from my phone and it wouldn't load. I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. I look a hot mess. I look tired as crap because today was my big testing day. I had my lab drawn. It was about 14 tubes that she took from me. That was fine. Not a problem. Um, the day actually started off where me and my husband got there in time. He took off today to take me home, but um, they only had two technicians working and there was like eight people in the room just constantly waiting to get in. So that took a little bit longer, but it was a godsend that I made my um, AB gas, arterial, arterial blood gas draw appointment actually two minutes early on time. So got there and I was talking to that technician and she was saying that it's actually you don't have to fast for that but our clinic they all do it in the same location because they're all across the street from each other that they just try to get you up there all in one day and get it all done but since I had been fasting at that point for 13 and a half hours she could feel my pulse but anytime she went to go poke it it just went away so I had, I don't know if you could see them, um, yeah, see those three dots, those are my arterial blood gases. Sorry, I'm using the light from my phone. Um, and then, can't really see the blood draw, but you can't, it's kind of bruised, but it's not that bad for um, how many tubes she did. She used the butterfly needle, for anybody who knows, that's the one with a little string on it, so it was easy breezy, didn't bug me at all. Um, then I went and got set up for my endoscopy, um, everything went fine. He said I have mild, mild gastritis, which my discharge nurse said that's very common. Everybody gets it, not to worry, it's nothing crazy, because while I was in the lab getting my blood drawn, there was a lady and a gentleman there, she was getting her labs drawn. But a couple weeks beforehand, her husband was doing his blood work, too. And he made it. So whenever she came out of her draw, she's like, oh, it was painful. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I realize everybody has different pain tolerance. And that's fine. Sorry, I'm doing it in the living room. And I want to finish before my husband comes home. He went to go get me. Today has been a comfort food day on the way home. I got went to Starbucks and got goodies. I had Wendy's for lunch, which was horrible, and then I went and slept for, I slept the whole way home, which was about an hour, and then I slept from 1.30 to 5, and I'm probably going to go to bed again here in a little bit, just because the anesthesia from my ABG, not, God, I can't even talk, guys. My endoscopy is really with me, and I'm just, I think I'm just really tired all the time from my crazy work hours. Um, yeah, so all I can remember in the endoscopy is, I mean, everybody's really nice there. I uh, went into the room. It was nice. My uh, first nurse for the for the actual procedure, She she's a southern lady, too, so it was nice to talk to her when we were chit-chatting it up. I didn't like having the oxygen thing in my nose just because it felt like such forced air, which, I mean, I guess it's better than having the whole gas mask on. So I had that on for a little bit. I waited into the procedure room for about 15 minutes before my surgeon came in. and He's the surgeon who does the, the uh, lap band and all the procedures on the patients. So, But he said that he had got caught in the hall by another patient. And the patient kept asking the same question over and over again. I guess they were still kind of loopy. Um, but whatever. He said that, you know, he pushed my med, said, you'll be out in a little bit. He's like, feel free to talk all you want. It makes everybody chit-chatty, but you won't remember a thing. I don't know if I chit-chatted or not. I remember them turning me to my left side and... uh Having me put my hand over here, got the IV in this hand. Little bubble from the swelling, but nothing bad. Anyways, <laughs> I had her remember that. He pushed the meds. And then the lady said, All right, we're going to put in the mouth guard for you. So I opened my mouth. She put it in. I guess it wrapped around and strapped to my head. And then I remember her fastening it. And that's it. 
Then I remember being in recovery and Lee saying, hey, wake up, wake up. And the doctor had done the, the procedure in about 45 minutes, so faster than what the information packet said, which is fine by me. I mean, I was knocked out. And then she kept asking me questions. She's like, oh, do you want to do this? Oh, do you want to put on your shirt? Do you want to go ahead and stand up? Do you want some water? And I was like, I don't know. I don't even know what you're saying to me right now, lady. I just want my husband back here so he can hear the results. And so they went and got my husband and... He took care of me after that. I got dressed and we walked around. I did go back to my weight loss clinic and I bought some more goodies. I'll have to make another video of that. I got more protein shakes, different flavors they have. I got a couple more sample packs of them so I could try them out. I got more of my peach tea that I love from there. I got some new different kind of protein bars I wanted to try. But, but I will do another video then. Also, um... I guess I'll just give y'all an update of my weight there. I weighed in, of course, you know, from my, no my endoscopy. They wanted my weight for the meds and all that stuff. And I was pleasantly surprised. It went down because yesterday I had my sleep uh, medicine consult for my s to see if they have, I have sleep apnea. They had me on the scale for that. And from their scale, from yesterday at 10 in the morning to today at around 9.30 in the morning, I had lost another 3 pounds. No, 2 pounds. So that puts me, I start from the total medically supervised diet, about 11 pounds. And from my highest recorded weight that the doctor who suggested I get weight loss surgery suggested me, that puts me down 19 pounds. So 19 pounds down in about a month's worth of time, three weeks. I'm in the middle of my third week on here, so that's pretty good. It's working. I know it's probably going to be a slow loss, but I still have the rest of the week and the weekend until my official weigh-in day on Monday. I think I am doing pretty good, except for today. I'm just so out of it, and then somehow i got to get up and make my lunch for tomorrow for at work, so I'm prepared again. But it's, I am just, I'm rambling, guys. I'm rambling. I'm still a little doped up can't say I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. As far as my endoscopy goes, I got a sore throat. It almost reminds me of whenever I, back in 96 when I was a kid and I had my tonsils taken out. It kind of feels like that kind of soreness like a few days afterwards when you're feeling better, but it still feels like the back of my throat is, is swollen and it hurts to swallow. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna just rest and wait for my husband to get home and upload this and let everybody have a good laugh at me laughing at myself. Alright guys, I will talk to y'all on Monday with my week three and week two update, I think. I don't know. I'll just make another video on Monday since I didn't do my weekly Monday video this week. <laughs> Bye guys.